Very often on Fridays, I'm sharing things to do to save money, but today I'm gonna to share four things to stop doing if you wanna save more money this year. Number one, stop blackout shopping. What does that mean? I think most of us have experienced this. We go into Target for a bottle of shampoo. We need shampoo, we're out of shampoo. And then the next thing we know, we're at the checkout and you're looking at the conveyor belt and you're like, where did all this even come from? And the next thing you know, it's a bill of $200 and you went in there for shampoo. I feel like this used to be kind of a cute thing, like, oops, how did this happen? Just went in for one thing, came out with 50 things. And as much as I love to be lighthearted on this channel, you guys know I like to use a lot of humor <laughs> to make this more fun, because sometimes finances can be a little stressful. This isn't even coming from a judgy place, because guess who has told that story a million times? Ho oh, ho, me. But in today's economy, on a more serious note, when people are struggling to keep a roof over their head and they're struggling to get food on the table, we can't be mindlessly spending anymore. It's just not realistic and it's just not feasible in any way. And we've gotta be a little bit more intentional so that we don't fall into these traps because it's easy to fall into that, especially when you go into Target. So much to see, so little time. And the reason I call this blackout shopping is because you kind of like go into this weird zone when you're in there. Not everyone experiences this, but I certainly have. <laughs> I certainly have. You just start walking around or maybe if I'm in Target alone, whew, if I'm in Target alone, if I've got Caden with me, he is keeping me accountable. But if I'm on my own, I start seeing all the things and it's just very tempting, right? But sometimes you almost like black out, like you're, you're, you just keep adding and you keep kind of rationalizing. Yeah, I need this too. I need this too. A better tactic will be to create your small short list, or if it's a longer list, if it's a need, set the list, follow the list, and only come out with the items you planned for. My frugal heart says this makes a lot of sense, so I don't overspend where it's not important. And then my minimalist heart says this is also great that you're not filling your home with things you don't need. Number two. Stop wasting food. I saw this article. It was around Thanksgiving and it said Americans will waste nearly 312 million pounds of food this Thanksgiving. Let me repeat that. That's how much we were going to waste just on Thanksgiving alone. Food waste can add up quickly. So here are a few things that I do to cut back on food waste and keep that money in your pocket. The first thing I have learned to do is to be honest about my eating habits. Back in the day when I wanna be healthy, I say, oh, I need to buy all the produce. Look at all these vegetables. Look at all that lettuce. I'm gonna make salads every single day. It's the new me. You won't even believe what you see. But I also bought chips. And back then when it came to salad or chips, Humpty Dumpty barbecue, look out. By the way, you should incorporate fresh produce into your groceries, but you've gotta be realistic about it and buy the food that you are going to consume. The second tip, how are you gonna manage this? Have a plan for every piece of food that you purchase. Does this go with this? Is this gonna be part of my meal plan? What am I gonna have for snacks? Have a plan for everything that you purchase so you don't buy anything that's just gonna expire or rot in your refrigerator that you can't freeze or have a plan for later so that you can stop wasting money on food because food is expensive. You know this. Every little bit will help as you prune your grocery budget just to the food that you need and are actually going to eat. Number three, stop living in your past. Often we tell ourselves old stories about ourselves 
and we get stuck in the ways that we used to do things and we tell ourselves that that's who we are and that's what we do when really we need to adjust to what is currently going on and you don't have to be that person you were last year you don't have to be that person you were even yesterday given new information we make new decisions there is also this quote from a movie called vanilla sky starring tom cruise and cameron diaz the quote is every passing minute is another chance to turn it all around i love that every passing minute is another chance to turn it all around you could be thinking one way one day you see a youtube video you read an article you have a conversation with a friend or family member and you can change your mind you can change your mindset you can change your actions to get somewhere totally different and this can happen anytime when you live in your past let's say financially say you've had some bad habits in the past maybe you've accumulated debt having debt that you haven't paid is contributing to you living in the past because you're still paying for experiences or things that you purchased a while ago and it just kind of lingers you guys know i'm a big fan of getting rid of debt as soon as humanly possible but also from a minimalist perspective you might hang on to things you might hang on to all the things and your closets are full of old clothes that maybe bring you back to this time they don't even fit anymore these people aren't even in your life anymore it's an ex-boyfriend or maybe it's in a bad way it's an ex-boyfriend that you just haven't had the heart to get rid of it yet but actually it kind of brings up some yucky memories if you keep living in your past it's going to be a lot harder to go forward financially and just in life in general so keeping in mind that quote that i just said you could change the whole trajectory of your life right now like watching this video you can say you know i'm tired of doing things the way i used to i'm gonna change it and i'm gonna do something different if you're not happy with your current results you must do something different to get a different result number four stop living paycheck to paycheck when i'm saying this to you i'm not saying you need to stop living paycheck to paycheck i'm saying let's stop living paycheck to paycheck it's time to break free from that cycle like if i had one wish for you if you are living that way right now it would be to break free it is a dream of mine for every single subscriber every k squad member watching this if you are living paycheck to paycheck for us all to get into position where that is no longer applicable to us is it super easy to do no or else everyone would be doing it your commitment to this channel your commitment to the frugal lifestyle that's because you prioritize the things that matter so you can spend less on the things that don't on the daily people in our community we don't want to stress about money every single day and if you're a person living paycheck to paycheck you literally can't pay a bill or do anything until payday that's stressful i don't want that for you again it's not easy but this whole channel is filled with tips on how to get out of that cycle how are we going to do that here are the cliff notes you're going to create a budget you're going to start evaluating your income and your expenses you are going to know how much you're bringing in and you're going to list all your expenses you're going to assign every dollar that comes in a name so that you know exactly where all your money is going you're going to track every dollar you earn and every dollar you spend as the month goes on so you can identify where you need to cut back where you might have some wiggle room where maybe you were overspending and you had no idea this is going to give you the perfect picture of your actual realistic financial situation so that you can do better kind of get rid of that debt tackle them head on so that you don't have to be paying interest on those bills keeping you in the past that we talked about you got to crush that debt it's going to take some time but with some consistency 
and dedication, you're going to do it. You're going to want to prioritize building an emergency fund. You're going to look for any opportunities to earn more. Once you get out of that paycheck to paycheck cycle, it's going to be so freeing. You're not going to be stressing. Is there enough in my checking account? Is this going to bounce? Am I going to bounce a check? Am I even going to make it? Do I even have that? You're going to know. If you can build up a month of expenses into your checking account, it's going to feel great. And I really want that for everyone at a minimum. Of the four things we talked about in the video, which is to stop blackout shopping, stop wasting food, stop living in your past, and stop living paycheck to paycheck, which of the four, if any, is something that you're going to try to do better with this year? We talked about in a live recently, a lot of you shared with me that you have an all or nothing mentality when it comes to money. And I'm going to encourage you to try to let that go because better is better. Wasn't that the deepest thing you've ever heard? But hear me, better is better. So if you aren't perfect at something when it comes to money stuff, who is? You know what I mean? If you improve, that's a big win. So don't be thinking, especially when we're doing no spend challenges. Oh, I went out to dinner. I blew it. Guess I'll try again next month. No, you guys, you're going to let one meal ruin your whole month. We've got to release. We've got to end the all or nothing mentality and remember that better is better and progress is going to be key and don't just throw in the towel when it gets hard and when it's not perfect. I got a lot of perfectionists here. All or nothing needs to go. Better is better. If one of your goals is to stop living paycheck to paycheck, I'm going to leave a video for you right here. If you'd like to dive into some more frugal living tips, I'm going to leave a video for you right here. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.